welcome to the session Domino App Dev for ProCode Developers. In our journey to shape the future of application development, HCL Domino 11 provides new capabilities for all type of developers. Power users, IT professionals, or business analysts can build new applications with just a few clicks using HCL Vault, our new low-code solution. Domino designers can now enable applications to run on new platforms. With Nomad, Domino applications can run unmodified on mobile devices, just like iOS and soon also on Android and Chrome OS. Creating secure mobile applications providing built-in encryption and offline support is now easier than ever before. With Nomad WebAssembly, the same Domino apps can run in the browser, of course, powered by the trusted security of Domino. In this session, we would like to take a closer look at the full-stack web developers, our pro coders who have to work with a broad set of languages to develop new experiences. So full-stack web developers can choose from a variety of frameworks, like for instance, React, Angular, Vue, uh, and others to build awesome solutions, like this web application that was developed on Node.js. With Domino 10, we introduced the new Domino App Dev Pack that enables pro coders to integrate Domino apps in an easy and seamless way. So what is this Domino App Dev Pack? It is an optional extension to the Domino server for opening up the Domino server to support the gRPC protocol. It consists of three components. First, the server task called Proton. Secondly, an NPM module called Domino DB, and third, a Node.js service called the IM service, which provides OIDC and OAuth authentication flows for your application. A Node developer can include the Domino DB module in his project in order to work with Domino just like he would be working with any other database. But in addition, he can make use of the security benefits that the Domino database provides. The gRPC protocol and the architecture that you see here is often used in microservices architectures. So let's take a look into where this becomes handy in the context of a Domino environment. Consider the following question. Let's assume you're building a web or mobile application outside of Domino, but you would like to retrieve data from a Domino database in order to query the names of current approvers and uh, fetch an unknown amount of workflow items from a Domino database and display the result in form of a drop-down list for filtering, for instance, by approver. So how would you do it? So one option is you could use LotoScript. That means you have to have the Domino designer installed you have to have a certain knowledge of LotoScript, then you could build an agent like this, which uh, provides a fast way of getting this done. However, you would have to modify the Domino application in order to retrieve the data that you're looking for. You could use LotoScript combined with the Domino query language that was provided as part of Domino 10. Again, this would require the Domino designer to be installed. You have to know a certain amount of LotoScript and you need to know the new Domino query language classes that were provided. However, there is an easier way to get this done. Yes, you could use JavaScript combined with the power of the Domino query language and we're using the Domino DB module that was just explained and the capabilities of Node.js to build a RESTful web service that uses your JavaScript skills combined with the data from a Domino database. Another even easier way to get this done is to just use Node-RED. Instead of writing your source code line by line, Node-RED provides a graphical user interface where you can just add building blocks to your application and wire the components together that make up your application. For those of you who do not know about Node-RED already, just a few words about what it is. As you can see, it is a visual editor to build applications. It is an open source tool, it's free of charge, it has been originally built by IBM in the IBM Hersley Labs and it escaped to the open source world a number of years ago. Node-RED is built on Node.js and this is why it's interesting because we can now use the Domino App Dev Pack that I was showing earlier on in order to build applications here in Node-RED that interface with Domino data. So let me show you how this is done. So in order to solve the problem with Node-RED, you would build a flowchart. What you see here is all the code that is required for a web service called Get Current Approver Names. And let me quickly explain what it does. So the first box to the top left accepts incoming HTTP requests. When there is a request coming in, we are connecting to a Domino database in order to retrieve the values we are looking for. We are getting back some basic information, like current approver name, and we pass it along to the next function node. 
Here in the function node, we are extracting all the names and we remove duplicates before we return it to the output node. It is as simple as that, just four building blocks and we have a Domino database provided in form of a web service. So looking at the code behind the scenes, it becomes even more clear why looking at Node-RED is an interesting thing. All the code that we had to write in Node-RED is outlined here on the left side. It's actually seven lines of code. Well, to be honest, six lines because line number seven is the default. And in LotoScript, we would have to write quite a bit more. Let's put this in contrast to, for instance, JavaScript, and you see it's all the same here. Working with Node-RED in the context of Domino is interesting because you can really see the layout of your source code, the structure of your source code. So let's look at how easy it is to get the necessary components installed. Within Node-RED, there is a top right-hand side drop-down menu, which allows you to manage the so-called palette. And in there, you have to search for Node-RED Contrib Domino DB. This provides all the components required for you to connect to a Domino server that has the AppDev pack installed. The installation should complete in a matter of seconds. Once done, you should find these additional so-called nodes in the palette on the left-hand side of your Node-RED workspace, which allow you to work with a Domino application. These nodes have a different purpose each, while the first one, meaning the document manager, can be used to perform create, read, update, and delete operations against a single document. The others can be used to run operations against a collection of documents. For instance, the get documents node, that was the one I was using in my example before, is used to look up a Domino database to find one or many documents and to return information from those documents. Bulk operations can also be done, like for instance, the create documents node, the last one here in this list, can be used to create a larger number of documents in a Domino database. Uh, of course, you could use Domino applications in the context of a larger application to fit in some specific data or functionality that's only provided by Domino. This has been possible with the help of a Domino 10 server and the AppDev pack installed. Now, with Domino 11, we are going one step further. By the use of the Domino event publisher, uh, we are publishing an event to a message bus and uh, we can pick up this event in an application. So let me show you how this is done in the context of Node-RED. In an event-driven architecture, we would like to be notified in Node-RED when changes occur in a Domino database. In our example, the Node-RED developer doesn't want to change the design of the Domino database, so any kind of notification needs to be done uh, instantly and needs to be done without having to understand the application in its details. So the Domino event publisher is going to help in this situation. What it's going to do is it's going to publish an event to a message queue. Here in this case, it is an active MQ installation from Apache that I have up and running. And uh, when a database is modified, we are posting an event to this message queue. On the other side then, in this case, I'm using Node-RED as the receiving end. I have subscribed Node-RED to the same message queue in order to pick up the event when it occurs. So all this is done in a single step with no line of code. So let me show you. For this demo, we are going to use a standard discussion database in which I've already created a number of documents. We would like to create a new document and see the event being created and handed over to message queue and from the message queue being picked up by Node-RED. For a Domino database to participate in event publishing, the Domino event publisher needs to be configured to pick up events from the specific database. As you can see here, I've already enabled Discussion21, my demo database, to participate in the event publishing process. So let's go back into the discussion database and already create a new document. We're not going to save this document yet because I'll have to show the other side, meaning the Node.js application, before we can continue. Node-RED, you can see my project consists only of an event listener, which will only output the results to the debug window on the right-hand side. Here in ActiveMQ, we can see the message queue, we can see the number of consumers and the number of previous events. See the number of 45 events that have created in previous tests.
According to our configuration, the event will be published as soon as we save the document, which I've done in this very moment. As you can see, a new notes document was created over here. Switch over to ActiveMQ to see if the event was published to the message queue. When taking another look at the very same message queue, we can now see that the number of queued messages has increased. It was 45 before, now we are at 49. And now at our receiving end, our Node-RED application, we see that an event has arrived. We've printed it out to the debug window and we can now examine the details of the message and we can see uh, what type of action was performed this case a node add operation and which database this was performed against. Behind the scenes, the Domino Event Publisher can be customized on a per application basis to define what type of events are published. An event can be sent to a message queue when a document is created, updated, deleted, put to the trash or restored, or when a folder is created or deleted. Message queues are organized by replica ID so that third-party applications can subscribe to events from a specific Domino application. Node-RED was used as an example to show how easy and fast events from the event publisher can be used. In summary, use the Domino App Dev Pack to extend the reach of your Domino-based applications, for instance, in Node.js projects. Full-stack web developers can build web applications using Domino as a secure NoSQL data store. Extend Node-RED with Domino for even faster development cycles. Using the new Domino event publisher in your enterprise is allowing to build and integrate solutions at scale on a loosely coupled architecture without having to modify the source code of your Domino application. Thank you for listening to this quick update on Domino App Dev for ProCode developers.